Hello everyone, welcome to learn wireless technology. Here I will provide you with tutorials on mobile wireless concepts and I will be explaining various important topics which will be specific to air interface. The tutorials will consist of several videos explaining important topics on cellular technologies. There will be useful notes on all the topics covered for your reference and in some cases the air interface communication will be explained with the help of log analysis. That depends on the topics covered. So let's start with the first topic which is an introduction to LTE technology. This will be an introductory topic where we will have an overview of the technology. So LTE stands for long term evolution which is the fourth generation of mobile cellular technology. We had some legacy technologies in the past which you might be familiar with. It started with 1G also known as AMPS which was the first ever cellular technology developed that supported only voice calling service. Then we have 2G which is known as GSM and CDMA which provides support for both voice as well as data services. GSM was deployed in most of the countries by the operators that used time division multiple access or TDMA as the multiple access technique while CDMA was deployed by the operators that used code division multiple access. The third generation of cellular technology that is 3G focused on high data speed and improved voice services. It was known as WCDMA or wideband CDMA in most part of the world. In countries such as China where the operators used the time division approach they refer to 3G as TDS CDMA and e-video was used by some operators in USA. The cellular technologies have evolved in a substantial way and it is still evolving. We currently have 4G which is deployed all over the world and then we have upcoming 5G technology. Now the requirements that are driving this evolution are high demand of data due to the advent of smartphones and other digital services, countless number of applications that demands very high internet speed such as streaming, gaming, download etc. and to accommodate the growing number of users around the world. We will discuss only about the fourth generation of cellular technology that is LTE or long term evolution. LTE is nothing but a standard defined by 3GPP which is third generation partnership project. 3GPP as we know is a body that defines or sets some standards for a cellular technology and various organizations around the world such as mobile operators, RAN vendors, chipset manufacturers work on its development. LTE was introduced in release 8. Now any mobile wireless technology is given a release name such as release 8, release 9, release 10 as the technology development progresses and keeps meeting the requirements at different stages. Before release 8 when there was 3G technology it was named as release 99 to release 7. Release 99 was UMTS and as it evolved it was called HSDPA, HSUPA, HSPA plus at various stages of evolution. But the release 8 version of LTE which was the initial release was not fully 4G compliant as it did not meet the standards set by 3GPP. Now there are some key building blocks defined for 4G such as high spectral efficiency, enhanced peak data rates, low latency, flexibility in frequency and bandwidth, seamless mobility and interworking with legacy 3GPP and non-3GPP networks. Now the CDMA and e-video technology that we saw earlier comes under non-3GPP networks as the standards for these technologies are defined by a different body and the technologies like GSM, WCDMA, LTE all comes under 3GPP. Now since the release date was the first ever release for LTE standard it couldn't fully meet the requirement but it did provide an evolutionary path for future development of LTE. So this is the 3GPP timeline of LTE evolution at different stages. It shows how the technology evolved, how it improved by each release and what were the advancements that caused the improvement. Each release saw some new features implemented and some enhancements to the earlier features. Let's quickly go through the features and improvements in each release. So release 8 was the first release of LTE defined in the year 2008. It has a flat IP architecture which reduces lot of signaling across the network. Then OFDMA is used as the access technology and MIMO is used to enhance the data rates. LT supports both FDD and TDD duplex modes. Release 9 was the next release introduced in 2009. 
It had included new services such as EMBMS, that is Enhanced Multimedia Broadcast Multicast Service, Self-Organizing Networks, Location Services, Improvement in Voice Solutions such as CSFB and Voice Over LTE. The release 10 version is also known as LTE Advanced. It is the first standard release that meets the actual LTE requirements that were defined. Carrier aggregation and advanced MIMO were the major features that help increase the data rates largely. And features like HetNets and EICIC supports an improvement of capacity and coverage. In release 11, the COM feature that is coordinated multipoint and FEICIC feature that is enhanced intercell interference coordination further improves the capacity of 4G. Release 12 continues the evolution of LTE Advanced. It was completed mostly in the year 2015 and focused majorly on security and emergency services. Few exceptional features were planned for the next release. The main features completed in release 12 were carrier aggregation of FDD and TDD bands, use of 256 QAM to increase data rates, device to device communication for emergency services, etc. Release 13 saw a lot of new features completed which includes completion of specifications for mission critical services. There were also enhancements to existing features. Carrier aggregation was planned to use up to 32 carriers. Licensed assisted access was used to have unlicensed spectrum to be used with mobile operators. Improvement in MIMO technology to further improve radio propagation. Release 14 saw a number of mission critical enhancements. Support for V2X services, ELAA, four band carrier aggregation, interband carrier aggregation. Release 14 also includes work on Internet of Things, voice and multimedia related features, radio improvements, etc. So till release 14, LT kept on evolving with new features and services being introduced, developed and deployed at various stages of evolution. The LT specifications for release 14 were frozen in the year 2017. Release 14 provides a roadmap for the evolution of 5G, also known as NR, that is new radio, which is the fifth generation of mobile communication system. Release 15 onwards, the specifications for 5G were defined. So that was a brief introduction to the 4G technology from this tutorial. I hope you understood the basic features and concepts of the technology and an overview of the LTE evolution. Thanks for watching.